Hi, this is Richard. We're going to talk about what Blender is and how to use it a little bit here. This is just an introductory video for anybody that's wondered um, how to get into 3D modeling. And Blender is probably going to be one of your first choices because it is free and because it is so powerful. And I think once you get over the learning curve, it's really fun to use and it's really easy to use. So first off, what is Blender? Well, it's a 3D modeling program that you can use to make um, photorealistic images. The more time and effort you put into your images, the better they're going to look. So I just have a few of them open here that I wanted to show you. I've got some push pins, and here's some Adobe houses that I'm working on for a video game. And here's some scissors that I tried to make pretty photorealistic um, with all the scratches and everything. I actually used pictures on here to help make it more realistic. But these are all things that I use the program to build, like these rope bridges. We can add some physics so that they'll actually swing when you run across them in my game. And then here's some street lamps that'll actually shine some light onto my scenes. And you can hang them outside doors and things like that. And everything from making the glass to the candles to hanging these to how they're going to swing, you can all do in Blender. This is kind of what it does. Here's a gritty um, analog future scene that I've worked on for a different video game. And I made each of these elements and lit it all in Blender. And you can see the power of Blender by looking at here, like these tiles, you see the light, how it reflects differently across each of these tiles, making it look three-dimensional when really this is just a flat surface. And then I've got this here, that's just an image, but it's transparent and it has some depth to it. So it looks like the tiles falling apart right there. And like this asphalt, that's all one flat polygon, but you can see how the light skitters across it looking like different parts of it are wet and gives it really that depth illusion of realism. That's what Blender can do. It can do all the things that 3ds Max or Maya, um, all those other 3D programs like Moto can do. And just you have to learn it. You have to get over the curve and then you can start doing these things. Like here I used a special tool to spin this key ring and then I filled it out and I added some modifiers to it and shaped it a little bit and it's not too very many polygons but you get a nice realistic effect even if you do see a few corners there and here's the corkscrew. I did the same thing, I just used a little bit different modifiers to it. 9 volt battery, pretty simple, just for a video game to uh, throw at other characters. I've got a fork, just a basic fork, and some pretty simple apples. They're low polygon, um, so you're going to see the corners on them, but from far away in a video game, they're going to look all right. You're going to run past them, and you're going to know that those are apples. Back there, you can see I have a stool made out of a stump um, and some branches, and you can do all of these things in Blender. And now let's open up Blender, and here's a basic head that I'm working on so that I just have a template of um, that I can then go in and sculpt and add fine detail to and change make it a fat face or a really thin face or if I want the eyes to be more sunken I can do that and let me show you just a little bit how we're gonna do that just like this we can move the eyes together or further apart or we can make them sunken and it's really gonna change what this person looks like or let's grab the nose here and let's make the nose bigger. Now we've got a person with a big ol' schnoz. And once you learn how to use Blender, it can become really easy to start getting these results exactly how you want them. So that there's some big lips. Maybe that's uh, going to eventually be Angelina Jolie, I don't know. <laughs> But with this simple tool set, these buttons over here, these buttons down here, and some hotkeys, just keystrokes that you'll use, you can create things like this from nothing. So let's go ahead and save that, and we'll open up a new file. You'll start with this, just a basic cube, and from there you can do all kinds of amazing things in Blender. So where do you get it? Well, you go to the internet, to blender.org. At blender.org, you can pick up the latest version right here. You just press that big button. Right now it's Blender 2.7. Soon they're going to release Blender 2.71. It's going to have a bunch of neat new features that we'll look at when that happens. And then from the same page, you can download Blender for any operating system that you have almost. And then over here, you can look at news of things that are coming up. And if you click this, 
you've got a whole bunch of different communities here where you've got blender.org things that are going on. You have the Blender Network, which is a separate website of professionals. And the good news is usually here from Blender Network. And then you've got other community news, Adventures in Blenders, Stack Exchange, Blender Artists, where you can start looking at some of the things that people do with Blender. And it, you can make movies, you can do 3D animations, kind of like how Pixar, do, Pixar does them. You can make still images of artwork or just scenes like I showed you, those still images of 3D models. You can make 3D models and you can export them into Unreal Engine. You can see I have that logo down here, that's what I'm working with. For a video game, fairly easily. And this free program, because it's free, it has a huge community around it. Look, here's all these forums where you can come and you can ask questions. This is on blenderartist.org. You can ask questions, you can share your work, you can talk about Blender. There's a Blender Reddit that you can go to that um, asks questions and you'll get live updates and you can talk about Blender and really become involved in the community. And that's the greatest thing about it because it is open source and it's free to download. It's really encouraging um, when you get started and start talking to people and working with it. You don't have a bunch of professionals. You have a bunch of people just starting out just like you. We're all working together to help make it a better community and a better system and better for everyone, which is why I really recommend it. And it's really a lot of fun once you get over some of the learning curve. And that's what these videos that I've made um, are going to try to show you is how to get over that learning curve so that you can start making some fabulous things. Alright, so if you continue on, hopefully you'll get what you need to get started, and I hope to see you in the next videos. If you have any questions, I'm going to be doing Beginner Blender Live every weekend at Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time, where you can get on and I'll model something simple, and you can watch with me or you can ask questions while it's live, and I'll give you live answers during the show so you can immediately get some feedback if you have any questions on how to do anything. Alright, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.